so a tree just fell on the house. I have posted that hopefully by the time I post this. Okay, so here on my channel, <clears throat> my name is Sabrina Wallace. My maiden name is Sabrina Davis. And there's people that follow me that are called synergists. That means that they are unafraid to be wrong. They are civilians who prefer to be literate. They like to read, they like to engage. In intellectual conversation, they, or they like to learn. So synergists will adapt to the life experience if it turns out that something is historically inaccurate, factually inaccurate, or physically in front of your nose and your eyeballs inaccurate, they're gonna adapt and do the best with what they've got, okay? Synergists also are people who understand that the human biofield is a body part. They may or may not be able to pilo erect, but they're gonna look at you and say, remember that thing we used to call the aura? It's been attached to the cloud since 2005, okay? And if you're unaware of that, that's a problem because we use something called the gig architecture for the metaverse, for the internet of bodies, for the internet of things, the digital D uh, CBDC stuff. The synergists know all about that, okay? They've, we've been talking about it for a year and a half. They understand their body since 2005 is attached to the cloud. They get it, they got it. A lot of them had a lot of weird things happen to them. And until I'm like, hey, did you know that they were installing radio frequency RFID chips in humans in the 60s? What? Yeah, and so we went over a bunch of that too with the medical implant communication system. And then synergists will also look at you and say, so where's that body part? that you all scream and yell, won't let anybody talk about. You won't admit that telepathy is inherent in human tissue, neurons, and so is empathy, precognition, spiders eat with precognition. These are all natural abilities, okay? And the aura itself, here's all these people doing jobs, information surveillance and reconnaissance, but everyone else in the world is told you're evil, it's a demon field. If you do have natural telepathy or you dream things, you're evil, and then they're gonna hurt you. They're gonna hurt you one way or another and push you away from those abilities. Then they don't teach you what your body is actually doing because the human biofield is the aura and it is a body part. You, it is generated by photons, which are from your own blood and tissue. And then it's DNA wave propagated out of you into several layers of amplitude because as the wave leaves you, it loses power or changes frequency. So, Synergists are people who are unafraid to be wrong. They're willing to adapt to the life experience because they like to read. They want to know what's actually going on. So they ended up here on my channel, a lot of them, because I continue to hold up these signs and explain things like the 6G Low Personal Area Network, using things like cybersecurity, La Quinta La Columna, explaining to them what radio modulation, neural modulation, transcriptomes, and proteonomics actually are. The brain imaging library then. I went and did a bunch of research on the YouTube and I explained how quantum companies had been here a long time and I made a sign. And I write on my sign with markers and try to lay it out a little more linear with metrics that anybody can go and research for themselves. That way, you are not taking my word for it. I do not want you to donate to me. Please do not subscribe. What I want you to do is learn. Your biofield is 80% of your immune system. Why? What organs comprise your immune system? Well, according to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, your thymus, bone marrow, that's where your photons are generated out of in part, also the small intestine, Lymph nodes, vessels and vasculature, the spleen and your skin. What's the largest organ in, of the body? The skin. And what do, what do they do with their human body communication quasi-static measurements? A near field effect. Yeah, that would be your biofield. Same thing for Tufts University, Dr. Michael Levin for morphogenesis, life extension, regenerative medicine, and biomedical engineering. Also, AI precision healthcare. So then, when Tori starts saying different things in her podcast in the last few months, I've come behind her with math and my own discoveries, mathematically of what I've been able to find. So when she mentioned a Fauci quote in which he said, we wanna get rid of the human immune system, I had found software while working a job at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater. I didn't find the software, oh no, 
Might have to replace that. I didn't find the software willy-nilly. I actually worked there. Don't worry, I got multiple copies. I've been having stuff explode. I'll explain that later. <laughs> so then, also working on the back end of Northcom, but while I was at Whitewater, the underground supercomputers were literally right there. I don't even know how that happened. There's nothing up there. Huh. Anyways, so here's the software. I've showed it before, and that's how I was able to say, hey, I worked there and we have a low earth orbit satellite connected to an underground supercomputer for 2000 years. And the people at Whitewater, the only people I did ask questions to at the time in 2004 and yeah, 2003, 2004, I said, where, cause it was all sitting on pallets, all this software wrapped up, etc. And I'm like, where does this go? And they're like, oh, underground, you should have seen what was here when the, only the churches were here. And I'm like, that was all that was said. but. It was connected to body area network with industrial IBM and Hewitt Packard equipment. Okay. So it's not hard for me to sit here and figure out what's going on because my family was involved in real X projects and that's what they're called. Apparently everybody's going with that phrase. So I'll stick with that, but I'm looking for my little pink book now. Cause I show my great uncle's card from Aberdeen, United States air force, but da. La la la. So anytime the DOD shows back up with, or well, them wanting me to do my resume and prove who I am, that comes from people in other places that are hostile. They do not like the fact that I'm talking and all these things, okay? I'm gonna do a separate video for that in just a second. But I want everyone out there to understand very clearly, I'm real and I survived this stuff. That's what I've been doing. I've been sitting here taking notes like on that professor that Tivon and Hope are watching and then making signs so people can understand it's still your electrical body part, the human biofield. It is a body part. It's not a new technology. They stole a body part 150 years ago so that everyone would only believe in what they could see and get them wired up to the cloud without telling you a word. And they did. And so people are logging into your veins and arteries and your tissue. And you don't even know that because you still think your thoughts are private. No. And it's way more than your thoughts. So these are the type of things that a synergist is going to know. If I say derpsis or if I say Google fingers on this, they're going to tell you, oh yeah, COVID has its own data center. And they're right. Then if I hold this one up, they're going to say, oh yeah, modified polyonucleotides with derpsis. Hold your DNA still. And then they'll kind of half laugh because I've tried to make things kind of funny sarcastically as we've went along. And if I say Langland's equation from Fermat's last theorem 300 years ago, they're like, well, it's some sort of high level math that unlocked the L function encryption, vague details with an enormous scope equals a way to keep it secure and only hand it out to certain folks. Well, what's all that mean? Well, they use quantum equations in order to log in and out of you. And without talking about that, uh, the mathematicians keep, get to continue telling you they're casting spells on you. And I said, oh, fear the JavaScript? I think that's kind of disingenuous. Don't you? No. It's not a joke. Unfortunately, when Amazing Polly talked about the Rwanda stuff, I went into it with Celeste Salome's accusations about spellcasting. And I'm like, what is she talking about? Oh, Geomancer and Spellcaster. So here's the IEEE inside the body. We change the air particulate out with a little more circle and combinant toric and matrice math. And then we go into Spellcaster and grab up some vector sets and coordinates are done by the Geomancer of where your geospatial is. And then we put in our feature values like weight, height, or anything that's in your Digi ID. And then from there, we create a data source and a data set and fire away. With what? Well, it depends. We can fire within you with the radio frequency that I showed here just a moment ago, the 802.14, or excuse me, 802.15.4, the biosensors themselves. The biosensors make up different networks of internal organs on wireless sensor networks, which is 802.14.5. And then your body itself, that's 802.15.6. So why did anybody tell you about this? It's in cybersecurity for Cisco. This is what you're looking at. There's no woo-woo, no foo-foo, no yoga, no spell casting, no mages, straight up radio frequency running through the body with radio modulation and underground computers and satellite called position navigation and timing. Why didn't you tell anybody about neuromodulation or radio modulation? La Quinta La Colonna has been trying the whole time. 
Why don't you tell anybody what you've been doing for work for 40 plus years? Why? Because you don't have to. There's no legal oversight, which now we're watching in all these hearings. So the hearings are what really kicked up the dust on my side, hardcore. So now I'm going to tell everybody out there exactly what the fuck happened with your chaos agents. I've been able to confirm only a few things, trying to keep other people completely out of this noise. But uh, people in the spy community, they already know. So I figure since they do, and there's no reason for me to continue getting run around like Plasma Energy Lady emailed me. She goes, you know, you're on a roll and here they come again. Yeah. But I knew that was going to be the case because the hearings are bullshit. The senators are laughing. And I've been talking about this since last October. What? Hybrids? Let Jesse speak. Lobotomize Sabrina. That's less than two weeks ago or so? Yeah? Okay, well, you're going to have a great fucking time on the next video. I promise. Well, not really. Anyways, so we're going to let X be a, a four-point manifold, com compact, connected, oriented, or smooth, and then we're going to use a left Shet's vibration, which turns your toroidal fields internally by their topology into a map. And that's where your L function comes in and your complex functions to change out all sorts of different mathematical dynamics. And then we log into you with your vector sets and your feature values, and we change your cells into anything we want to. If you destabilize the electricity of a cell at the nano or the millimeter or whatever, it's not going to properly connect on the inside to recreate or do its own job. The synergists have gone ahead and went to class at MIT. They've been to class at the IAS, high energy. They've been to class at the nano, uh, nano node at the University of Illinois. And that's where we learned about these things. Not to mention Tufts University, Dr. Michael Evans, straight up, showing people how the homeostasis of bioelectric code has been hacked, fracked, and fucked with. How? You're wireless, your body is electrical, and they won't let you talk about it. You're not allowed to talk about it. So I get up here in Pilo Erect, and I'm like, hey, where's your body part? And I'm engaging with women and men to get up there and show people this body part. Why? Because you lied. 150 years ago, you hid it in academia. 6,000 years of the human circulatory system, telemetry of your bloodstream didn't change because 150 years ago, Blavatsky and fucking Crowley said, oh, no, no, anybody with spiritism, cymatics, you're full of shit. You're just wobbling tables and banging spoons. Don't believe them. Only believe in what you can see. Well, that worked out real convenient for the people that are still doing this right now and since the 50s and the 60s. You only believe in what you can see, and now they're telling you, put your wearable on, do what we say, or die. And you have no idea how they're doing it. That's really unfortunate. You should probably find a synergist. They're going to help you understand in the following way, most likely. Hey, remember that body part, the aura? Yeah? Did you know they attached it to the same cloud your phone uses back in 2005? Google Fingers, Body Area Network. They've been working on this since 1995. Google Fingers, Wide Body Area Network. Click on images, it's all for your health. So if it's for your health and you don't know shit, don't you think that's a problem? Nowadays, people are gonna tell you, no, they know better than me. And everybody goes, oh my God, this is getting really frightening. Yeah, yeah. You wanna tell them about you remoting your loved ones for less than 45 grand a year? No. You want to tell them about your cute little EEG headset still here on the channel that you use to electrocute people from the inside out? No. Oh. And that you've been doing it? No fucking problems since 2012 and you're organized by our spy state, particularly the FBI and DHS? No. Oh. Or that NASA hands out drones and has extended help desk hours for people to call in, order a drone to fly over their home, and then go ahead and make change? Depending, it's all pay for play in databases. It just depends on whose faces you can get in or out. No? Okay. These are jobs. These are not willy-nilly somebody in a gang, but they do have low-level agents as well. And now we're going to talk about it, Vicky, Matthew, and Fang, and the rest of you. And Kundo, our gray hat from the DOD, rounding up the star seeds and the hybrids over there up in Williamsport, PA with Catalyst Energies. We're going to talk about what you guys did to my channel, how you failed, okay? And we're going to talk about it for the way it is. I've done enough research now, and I don't give a fuck who you call. I'm well aware. I've had plenty going on in the last 24 hours, and a tree just fell on my house. Got you now.